Today we'll be working on a 2004 Lexus GX470. We'll be installing hidden hitch part number 70779, also comparable to draw type part number 75155. These measurements will be helpful when selecting a draw bar, a bike rack, or a cargo carrier. From the top of the receiver tube to the ground is about 16 and 3 quarters inches and it's about one inch from most external point of the bumper. Now let's go ahead and do our installation. We have three attachment points on the passenger side. These are pre-manufactured drill holes. As part of a pre-installation, what we're gonna to wanna to do is lubricate those well and clean the threads out thoroughly before we try and do any installation. We're going to use a nylon tube brush, part number 814092 and some lubricant to try and clean these threads out. It's always a good idea to take your new bolt and test it to make sure you've got your threads thoroughly cleaned out. Now that we've got our passenger side frame rail prepped, we're gonna move over to the driver's side. Here we're gonna to need to remove the tow hook. We're gonna move over Disconnect our electrical. This is a seven-way plug installed by the manufacturer. We're gonna remove it and its bracket. To remove our seven-pole connector, we've got two hold downs here first. And then we're gonna remove our electrical connectors. You wanna press and release. So again, press and release the connection points. We're gonna set that aside for now. Now that we've got our harness removed, we need to remove our bracket, but in order to get to the bracket, we've got a couple of fascia bolts that'll have to be removed first. Okay, now that we've got our two fascia hold downs removed, what we have to do is remove the bracket over top of the electrical bracket. This is attached to the impact bar. You can see we've got a hold down here. And then another one up here on the very back side of the impact bar near the spare tire. So we pull that impact bracket out of the way, exposes two hold downs for our electrical bracket that will be removed. We're gonna repeat the same process on the passenger side. The only difference is it's gonna have three fasteners instead of two. One hold down here, one the outermost point of the vehicle, and one more towards the center. Before I raise my new hitch into place, I'm setting up my block and handle nut. You can see I've taped the block to the handle nut. You'll see some tweaking may be necessary on your handle nut assembly, because we're gonna line up with this hole here in the impact bumper. Now that we've got our handle nut assemblies into place, it's good to get a helping hand to help raise your new hitch into place and secure it with your mounting bolts and conical tooth washers. All right, that completes the three on the subframe for our driver's side. Now we'll do the one on the rear impact bar. Now that we've got our hitch into place, we can go through and hand tighten everything. Now that we've got everything hand tightened, we can go ahead and torque down to specification. And now we want to go ahead and reconnect our electrical. What you'll need to do is pull your wires off the frame mounts in order to get enough length to connect the connector back up. The new hitch comes with a mounting bracket for your connector. And as you can see, it gives us the length we need to reconnect. Now we can go ahead and mount our box to our new hitch, and that completes the reinstallation of our electrical component. The last piece of installation of our new hitch is going to be re-securing the fascia that we removed the brackets on. Installation instructions will call for a couple of zip ties and to re-secure back to the impact bumper. We have found with this particular make and model, it is best to actually re-secure directly to your new hitch And this completes the installation of our hidden hitch part number 70779 
which is also comparable with draw tight part number 75155.